Hi, welcome back to Resus Well Control video for simulator exercise. At the moment, the well situation is now being killed using driller's method of first circulation um, where we understand that this method has got two circulation. Now during the first circulation, we are basically pumping the same old mud weight just the objective to remove the influx from the bed all the way to surface which is pumping bottoms up now as we are doing that the pumping of mud and re removing the influx out what we only do in our pressure gauge in our choke there is to maintain the drill part pressure constant reading at the initial circulating pressure and therefore it's just one number very easy just one icp all the way constant now let's look at my remote choke panel here i am maintaining my icp of look at that 750 psi all the way through the entire circulation okay now what happened is we are pumping the same old mud and therefore the same pressure should be seen in your drill pressure gauge now what the other gauge will do is to increase gradually as you are circulating influx higher up your well now this gas is not going to stay in one small bubble it's going to gradually increase in size and as soon as it reach surface it will be the biggest volume possible and at that time the casing pressure will read the highest and we don't know for sure unless you can estimate using the Boyle's law method now what we only know here this casing pressure will increase to the max and we are having no control over this pressure gauge what we are in control is only on this pressure gauge which will only read constant pressure at initial circulating pressure and that's it now let me show you what the downhole looks like and that is only appear in the instructor screen which student wouldn't be able to see the screen through the entire assessment but for the sake of learning why not so let me take a look now look at this well here having influx only in the annulus where it is now circulating mud at the moment through your choke at surface now soon enough when the gas reach surface it's going to flow out through your choke now this is your drill string where we are pumping the old mud at this time yes the old mud is passing through the choke but later when the gas is going through your choke the pressure will start to drop so significant now the reason why the gas it is so easy to go through the choke because of its lighter density than the mud now because it's just so easy to flow through the choke now the pressure on the part that you try to hold constant at icp will start dropping now because your principle say that you have to hold icp constant now because it is dropping now it's very important for you to start closing your choke slowly not closing fully but partial or some portion away so as for you to maintain reading icp at its original value that you plan to hold let's speed up this process and i'll show you what happened when the gas is passing through so at this time i'm speeding up this process so that you can get this surface much earlier arriving at surface shortly before this gas reach surface i'll switch back to real time and we'll see together or on my remote choke what do i do to control the position of the choke okay now we are on real time let's see what happened when we have the gas arriving surface here is my total stroke counter showing total stroke that we have pumped about 2160 and the casing pressure or the key line pressure is now reading its maximum pressure at this time i'm still at my icp constant about 800 psi which is fine now let's look at the annulus what is happening here we don't adjust the choke and the pressure start dropping followed by your drill part now remember we don't allow this drill part pressure here to drop that hissing sound is due to the gas is passing through the choke now because the pressure here try to drop below my planned icp i must close my choke portion away as i see my drill part pressure here dropping still i must continue to close my choke more and more trying to hold my drill part pressure constant at this time it is reading 700 psi my gauge now i can see it is still dropping but slower than before so i must still adjust my choke to close its position so that it doesn't allow this drill part pressure to fall lower than my minimum minimum at this stage is 500 psi now it is reading 650 i continue to close my choke try to get my plan icp at about 750 psi now i can see my pressure here start to respond finally 
Now remember each action on the choke here requires 10 seconds for the pressure here to respond. Here is the trick that many people tend to lack. That people feel so nervous looking at this pressure does not respond at all that keep them adjusting the choke more and more without waiting. Now look at here, the pressure that we have at the moment is right is at what we want. The lesser you touch the choke, the better the pressure will be. That is the hint. Now we have 710 PSI on my drill pipe. Now my job is just to maintain that constant. Okay. Now let's look at what happened on my analyst pressure. On my key line, 590 PSI. I know perfectly this pressure will gradually decrease along with my choke line pressure which at this time reading about 800 psi I can tell the gas has finishes off now that is the reason why our drill pipe pressure start to increase and the reason why this drill pipe pressure increase because behind the gas is back to the original mud which flowing to my choke right now because of this heavier fluid flowing now now remember our control stay the same which is to maintain ICP constant now look at my drill pipe pressure here after I open the choke more and more because my pressure that just now was increasing now I get back to my original pressure that I want to hold and it is about 850 psi at this time 800 psi now gas has finished off from the well and we obviously has reached our minimum bottom substroke to complete our drillers method first circulation here now let's shut down our pump to prepare for the next circulation of drillers method which is the second circulation pumping kill mud so let's begin shutting down the pump on our next video